you're in luck today, Jana, because we have another all-star in our kitchen today, which means you'll have more recipes. And he is making a big pot of New England clam chowder that is absolutely delicious. He's one of my very favorite people on the planet. Please welcome back Chef Govin Armstrong. Welcome back, Chef. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you, too. I'm so excited about this clam chowder. I mean, if anyone knows how to do seafood and anyone knows how to do clam chowder, that is you, my friend. I mean, that's what you guys specialize in the restaurant. Right. This clam chowder, though, is like none other. It may be New England clam chowder, even though we are on the West Coast. And it begins with a roux. That's exactly. That's really the secret to this. It sure is. And the secret of the roux itself is you don't want to get too much color in it. Okay. You want to keep it nice and blonde. So it's about two parts flour to one part fat. You can use butter or um, a little bit of oil. Okay. Okay, so we have that going. Once it's nice and blonde, what I did at the same time, we seasoned a little bit of clam juice okay. with um, some cream as well. So that's going to give you a really nice creamy clam chowder, something that's not going to be too heavy. Uh, that's so a little that? sachet. There's a little bit of chili de arbol, a little bit of fresh thyme, and also some peppercorns. Okay. You so can throw in some bay leaves as well if you want. Just basically, to that it. was just like a little sachet full of spices. And yeah, 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 yeah. You want to season your cream and season the clam stock there. So that was cream with clam juice. You got it, yeah. And you simmer that for about 20 minutes or so just till all those flavors are nicely infused. And then you pour it into the roux. Pour it right in there, and that's going to thicken it. And now, you keep I doing that so it doesn't break, right? Exactly, yeah. It holds it all together, uh, makes it nice and thick. I don't like the clam chowder that you can actually stand your spoon up in it. So this one's a little a little more velvety, really nice uh, silky texture to it. It's nice. Right? Now that the... Um... The spices you put in there, could you change them up or is it specific? You sure can. Okay. Yes, indeed. No, I, add, I like to add like celery seed and all that, um, a little more bay leaf and even a touch of rosemary. Oh but God. you don't want to get too crazy. You really want to keep things traditional and... Uh, this is so good, Govan. Isn't it flavorful? Right now, I know Thank traditional you. clam chowder, you have bacon, right? Yes, we have a little bit of smoked bacon here at the restaurant. You know, the lobster, we smoke our own, of course, so we mm. cure it for seven days. Uh, we uh, smoke it for about 12 hours or so. Wow. Um, to that, I'm rendering out the bacon. I added a little bit of garlic. We're going to do some onion here, some diced onion, and crank this up. And you want to sweat these vegetables out till they're nice and tender. Okay, how and long? Then a little bit of celery. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Really depends here. Uh, we're going to let that go. Now, with the clam juice, yeah. Would it be something like uh, clamato juice, or would you take the clam juice from the from a jar, or you can use um, just regular clam juice that you can buy um, without the clams in it. Okay. And then buy either fresh clams or a separate can of the actual uh, chopped clams. Okay. We always use the uh, really nice fresh chopped clams at the restaurant just because they're nice. They're a little more tender. They don't give you that uh, rubbery. Right. You know, you know exactly. What I'm Sometimes, about. if you, especially if you overcook them, my goodness, yes. it's like an eraser. Yes, yes, yes. You don't want that. Now, I, while you do that, I just want to ask really quickly. There of is um, a huge rivalry between New England clam chowder and Manhattan clam chowder. So much so that Govan just filled mm -hmm. me in. I had no idea about this. That they tried to outlaw tomatoes and clam chowder at one yes. point in history. Exactly. This is a true story. Well, yeah, I, I believe it was the state of Maine was trying to litigate that they could not add tomato and call it chowder. Can you imagine? For the, for the Manhattan clam chowder, yeah, it's pretty They actually pretty went to Fort and spent money on that. Yes. <laughs> so here we have the base that's been um, simmering for about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. That's where I'm going to add my clams. See, these are like really beautiful. These are the fresh ones. So they're nice, super tender. I'm just going to get those in there. And how long would we need to cook those? Because that's what They only think. take a few minutes. Okay. Like literally, you just want to cook them through. So like five to 10 minutes should be perfect. And then we have some potatoes here. These are fingerling potatoes that have been cooked already. Okay. These are also going to thicken your um, chowder up just a little bit. So I'm just and get I that also all like how you up. slice them round as opposed into yes. the little chunks. In instead of diced, right? Yeah. yeah, that's one of the special touches we do at the restaurant there. So Good. let that get going. At this point, you can season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. I actually add a drizzle of sherry vinegar here oh, nice. just to brighten it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Isn't that flavorful? Mm. Bring this. And by the way, pretty simple. It is. Once no, you it doesn't down, take, it's done. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. As long as you have all your mise en place, everything in place, ready to go, it comes together very, very quickly. And do you garnish with a little olive oil as well? I do, just a little drizzle right on top. You can serve it with crust, you know, a little bit of crusty bread, oh. um, oyster crackers, just about anything you want. This is so good. This is the perfect kind of soup that you actually dunk the bread in. Yeah, just like or that. Or serve it in a bread bowl like they do in, mm. the, in the Bay Area there. 
Govan, you've done it think? again. Not bad. Every time you're here, I say this is my favorite thing that you've ever made, but I think. It's your favorite thing? I think you just raised the bar again today. <laughs> Go Thank on, taste you. it. It's so good. Mm. How good is that? That's fantastic. It's just like you, my friend. Definitely one of our top sellers at the lobster. Come on by. Oh, I will. Okay. I rode my bike by there the other day and I said, I gotta go in, but I should probably keep exercising. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Govan. This recipe is available at hallmarkchannel.com. And of course, stop by the lobster if you are in Southern California. And for more from Govan, check out his social media at govanarmstrong.com.